Hello and welcome to another lesson of English grade 6. The topic that we will cover today is writing. We are going to write a description, an email to a pen friend or a message. Let's start with the lesson. Now, in order to write a good piece of writing, you have to keep in mind that you have to use the WH question. So this is a very good writing tip. If you know who you are going to write, so if you answer to the questions who, what, where, how, when and why, you are going to write a very good piece of writing. It might be a description, it might be a letter to a pen friend, etc. Maybe not all of these questions are going to be used in your writing. However, if you use some of them, then you are going to succeed in your writing. Let's continue. Now, read the postcard and choose the correct answers. Before starting with the question, we are going to see the postcard. Hi, mom and dad. I'm writing this in a small cafe in town. I'm looking out of the window at Rob and Emma. So, we are going, I invite you to start reading again. Hi, mom and dad. Because then you are going to do an exercise. I'm writing this in a small cafe in town. I'm looking out of the window at Rob and Emma. They are buying some magazines and taking photos. The weather isn't bad here. It isn't raining, but there are some clouds in the sky. We can't go to the beach today, but we're having a great time. Phone me soon, Claire. So, this was written to Mr. and Mrs. Harper in England. This was a postcard sent to the parents by Claire. So, who is the postcard for? Where is the girl? What's the weather like? What are the other people doing? If you answer to these questions, then you're going to have a terrific piece of writing. Now let's see what the exercise is about. Who is the postcard to? The first one is given to Claire's parents. So she wrote, hi mom and dad or dear mom and dad. Where are Mr. and Mrs. Harper? They are in a hotel, at home or on holiday. What are Rob and Emma doing? Remember, we just read it. Shopping, having a dream or going to the beach? Then, what's the weather like? It was mentioned, it was very easy. Sunny, wet or cloudy? And the last one. Are the teenagers enjoying the visit? No, they aren't. Yes, but not very much. Yes, or very, yes, very much. So these were the alternatives of the sentences. I invite you to take a few moments to complete them, circle the right alternative, and then we will check together. Okay, time is up. Let's see if you have guessed correctly. So the first one was already done. The postcard is for Claire's parents. The second one, where are Mr. and Mrs. Harper? They are at home. What are Rob and Emma doing? They are shopping. Then, what's the weather like? It was cloudy. And the last one, are the teenagers enjoying the visit? Yes, very much. These were the sentences related with the postcards. Let's continue with another exercise. Read the email and complete with the verbs in the correct form of the present continuous tense. Remember, the present continuous tense is used to talk about actions that happen now, at the moment of speaking or for plans and arrangements. And it is formed with the verb to be in present simple, am, is and are, plus the present participle of the verb, which is verb plus ing. Let's start with the email. Hi, Maddie. How are things with you? I'm sitting, so the first one is given. I'm sitting, double T, in my bedroom and I'm bored. I can't go out because I not feel very well. I not enjoy the weekend at all. It not rain, but it's very cold. And I've got a lot of homework, but I not do it today. 
Mom isn't here. She not work today because she visit my grandma. Dad make lunch. My brother is in his bedroom with his friends. They play computer games and my sister have fun with friends too. It's horrible. Are you on a computer? Please email me soon. So this was the email. I invite you to take a few moments to complete the empty spaces with the correct form of the verbs in present continuous and then we'll check them together. Okay, let's check if you have guessed correctly. The second one is am not feeling. So the girl was not feeling well. I am not feeling well. Am not enjoying. She isn't enjoying the at the moment is not raining, at the moment isn't raining, am not doing, is not working, is visiting, the mom is visiting the grandparents, is making, they're playing and are having. These were the correct alternatives. Let's continue. Uh, look at the picture, read the postcard, take notes and write your own. So this is the last exercise that we will do today. We're going to read the postcard and then we're going to do some questions. Hi Dan, how are you? I'm writing this in a village of Yorkshire. I'm here with my friends from the activity program. We are preparing for our 25 kilometers walk. Don't worry, we've got a compass. It's warm and sunny and the area is beautiful. Email me soon, Laura. So Laura wrote to Daniel. This was a very simple and easy postcard which Laura wrote. Now let's continue with the exercise. It is your turn. Imagine you are on a holiday. Think of answers to these questions and write notes. If you write the correct answer to the questions below, you are going to create a postcard very easily. Where are you? So think where you are. If you haven't traveled recently, sorry, you can think, you can imagine. What are you and your family doing? So you can think of a time you visit some place or you can imagine. What is the weather like and do you like the place? So if you answer to these questions, you can write a piece of writing or a postcard very easily. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you for watching and good luck with your English.